Amongst all the spirits that appear in Spirited Away, the one that stood out to me the most since childhood has always been the Radish Spirit. When we are introduced to the Radish Spirit, he appears unexpectedly as Lin and Chihiro are ascending the bathhouse. Because of the startling nature of his introduction and the way he dwarfs our main character, he really fills up the entire screen and comes off as quite intimidating. Although he moves slowly and doesn't speak, this image is reinforced when Lin nervously tells Chihiro to simply ignore him. As he follows Lin and Chihiro to an elevator that reaches a higher floor, the suspense builds as we don't know whether he has realized Chihiro is a human. Later, however, the radish spirit is revealed to be benevolent in nature when he helps Chihiro hide from the inquiring bathhouse worker. In fact, he can be seen riding past his floor in order to keep Chihiro safe. After all, the top floor is only occupied by Yubaba, and it's unlikely that he's looking for anything there. Although he has a small role, the radish spirit is shown as a good character throughout the film. He celebrates both when Chihiro cleans the river spirit and passes Yubaba's test at the end of the movie. So, what does he represent? The radish spirit's design is based off the Japanese sumo wrestler, a Japanese sport which dates back at least 2,000 years. Sumo originated as a Shinto religious practice to entertain the gods and gained popularity as a spectacle sport in the 1600s. Specifically, early wall paintings show that sumo began as an agricultural ritual dance to pray for a good harvest. Even in the modern era, sumo's Shinto ties have remained strong. Shinto beliefs revolve around the Japanese land and seasons and their relationship with human inhabitants. A core practice of Shinto is to pray to deities or kami for blessings and to ward away evil spirits. Sumo rings are designed with Shinto rooftops and pre-match rituals such as clapping to get a deity's attention are also Shinto practices. From his sumo-inspired design, the radish spirit can be interpreted as a Shinto deity of agriculture. This theory is also supported by how Lin is taken aback when she first bumps into him, giving the impression that he is an important spirit. Even his hat, which is an upside-down sake cup, is significant, for drinking sake can be an act of purification used to bring people and gods together. Sake making is also closely linked to rice farming. Like with wines, dedicated sake rice farmers spend decades perfecting their craft. Additionally, when the radish spirit turns around, we see that there are eight dots adorning his back. In Japanese culture, eight is a holy number, and it is believed that there are eight million or so total Shinto deities. So, if he is such a venerated spirit, why embody the form of a radish? First, the radish itself has a religious significance, representing blessings from good marriage to good health. Some temples in Japan even feature daikon radish offerings and decor. In 2015, Japan's Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare declared the most popular vegetable in Japan to be the daikon radish. Looking at radish consumption data in Japan from the early 2000s until now, the radish's popularity was booming during the release of Spirited Away, making it the most fit choice for a god of agriculture. From these clues, we can conclude that the radish spirit is a benevolent character inspired by Shinto religion with the many references in his design.